Hi guys, good morning. I'm Kim and you're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse escape and be free and go on to live really happy, rewarding lives. I want to talk a bit uh, more today about the ongoing uh, bombardment, you know, out there in the narcissistic victim and survivor community, you know, of uh, bad, bad advice. Any advice at all, seven things to say to your narcissist, 20 evil things to do to your narcissist, you know, here's a hundred ways that you can get even with your narcissist. All of that is geared at you engaging, okay? And I really need to stress the fact that engaging is a very, very poor idea. Now, I know these videos will say, you know, no contact's better, but if you can't go no contact, guess what? You need to go no contact. You you really seriously need to go no contact. And not as a form of punishment for your narc, but as a lifestyle choice for you. This is one of the first real steps to healing, is making this permanent, lifelong choice for yourself that you are going to free yourself of this illness and uh, evil. I mean, there's just so many things going on with your narc that puts you in grave danger. I never, ever am going to see engaging as an option. Certainly not for me. Early on in my uh, relationship with Trevor, uh, really not understanding what was happening, not even understanding what the word narcissism meant or the fact that Tra Trevor suffered from narcissism, my first inkling, you know, was uh, demonic possession. I've said that in many videos. And one of the things that really, really got that idea in my head was the narc smirk. Now, have you seen the narc smirk? Let's not pretend that that's okay. There's something so gravely wrong with that. And I'll tell you, Trevor wore that smirk a lot because Trevor was very, very actively trying to harm me and destroy my life. And I mean on a daily, minute-to-minute -minute basis. The bombardment of the abuse was, it was absolutely mind-fucking. And I had to really think, like, what, what the fuck is happening here? Like, you know, my life just, everything was imploding on me. And with such speed and such regularity, I really just couldn't keep digging myself out. And every time I'd look up, there he was with that smirk on his face. Now that smirk is indicating that your narcissist has done something horrible to you that you may or may not be aware of, but it is definitely a sign on them that they feel greatly uh, gratified. They feel really quite excited. I mean, to the point they're smirking. Now that smirk used to make my blood run cold. You could ask, is evil real? Well, let's think about that. Evil's been with us humans here on planet Earth since our earliest days, since the very beginning of time. Psychiatrists, psychologists, and medical profession professionals everywhere will say, well, you know, there is uh, definitely something going on out there. And, you know, if you believe for one second, you know, in the goodness in the world, you certainly, you know, probably believe that there is also evil in the world. Now, I ran into uh, a book recently about a, a female psychiatrist who had worked in the American justice system. She uh, was a psychiatrist at the penitentiary and most, well, pretty much all of her clients were covert narcissists and she not only had determined that these people were gravely gravely sick capable of the most heinous violent horrendous crimes but there was something else going on now she gave up her practice as a medical professional and she went off in another direction you know trying to explore whether or not these people were demonically possessed now, 10 years into this woman's research um, and the possibility that um, covert narcissists suffer from demonic possession uh, has concluded absolutely. She is absolutely convinced that, yes, these people are demonically possessed. Now, 
her explanation for this in a nutshell is because they are gravely mentally ill, it created like a fracture in their psyche, in their souls, in their spirit, in their minds, which allows uh, evil in. And, you know, it, it, the narc's mark is definitely a sign, but when someone is sitting actively plotting against you while you're trying to figure out what to make for dinner, you know, it really does feel a lot like demonic possession. And another thing countless victims and survivors will say is they felt like they had a spell put on them, like they were in a hypnotic state, like they were under some sort of trance, some sort of mind control. Ask yourself, you know, if you believe that someone else's mental illness is enough to make you feel like you've been in a trance. Uh, probably not. Now, someone else's uh, demonic possession or, you know, the outpouring of evil, now that might be a feel like you've been in a trance. Now, I showed that image of, you know, vampire demon at the beginning of the video. Uh, look at that image and ask yourself truly, do you want to poke that with a stick? I mean, do you really want to poke that with 20 ways to piss it off? We've got uh, two really, really volatile, dangerous uh, things at work here. We've got extreme mental illness. We've got the possibility of real evil. And uh, poking it with a stick is probably not going to be your best bet. But in addition to that, we live in a society where we kind of depend on a certain level of social justice. When there's been, you know, something horrible happen, we kind of expect to see that uh, balanced out. So if you're feeling, you know, like there's been a terrible injustice in your life and you'd like to see the playing field playing field leveled, there are ways to truly slay a narcissistic vampire. You can, without being evil, instill some of the evil tactics of the narcissist back on him. Now, you have to keep in mind that the narcissist's lifeline, their bloodline, everything that they've been doing their whole life is about taking people hostage and hanging on to them. You can be the one to initiate the dumping. Don't wait for Buddy to dump you. You initiate the dumping. Do not wait for them to discard you. Discard that monster. Like, absolutely discard him out with the trash. He is trash. Everything coming out of his mouth is trash, lies, bullshit. Discard him like he never existed. And for God's sake, once you're safe and once you're free... Talk about what's happened to you. Stop covering for these monsters. Expose them. They don't want to be dumped. They don't want to be discarded. And they sure as hell do not want anyone to know what they are. This is absolutely soul-crushing to these monsters.